Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and in this video is going to be the first video of I don't know how many but the series of videos of the estate uh, jewelry clear out. So if you guys saw the post on the community page uh, probably like two or three weeks ago now I was able to buy out a large pile <laughs> of jewelry. Now this is um, my husband's friend, his grandmother that passed away and she had a ton of jewelry and what they did was they took it all to the jeweler first and he pulled out what was you know, precious metals and stuff like that. So basically I have all the costume jewelry. Maybe he missed something, I don't know, but it's going to be mostly costume and I have a whole bag of jewelry boxes. So in case anyone's interested in purchasing jewelry boxes, I have a bunch of those. So this is going to be the first video of the series. I don't know how many videos there's gonna be. There is a lot of jewelry. Um, I did not pay up front for this jewelry. I am giving him a cut out of it. <laughs> so, um, you know, I owe him, basically. So let's, first we're gonna get started with this. I have a new mat and it's got a crease in it, so I'm sorry for that weirdness. But we are going to start off with a few pieces from a previous video and also two really cool pieces I picked up at the flea market this past weekend and I need your guys help. So if you are interested in anything, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information's down in the description box. Please make sure you also check that sold list that's pinned in the comments before you email me. It just helps with the amount of emails I receive and um, make sure you give me a screenshot or a timestamp of the items that you're interested in. I accept PayPal, and if you have not bought from me before, please let me know your PayPal email and mailing address when you email me so I know if you're in the U.S. or outside the U.S. because that matters a lot for shipping. Okay, so a piece that was from a previous video, this is going to bug me. Um, was this sterling silver heart and the back had the um, four-leaf clover in it and I did test it in the previous video it is sterling it is also marked there on the bale and this chain is sterling as well it did have a knot in it when I showed it to you but I took the knot out and the measurement on the chain is about an eight and a half inch wearable drop. So I don't remember what I asked for this in the previous video, but I'm going to ask 25 on it today. So there's the first piece. And then we had this sterling silver and like a cat's eye stone. It did test as sterling and it is marked Mexico 925. ATL. It is it is showing some tarnish. Um, I think I asked for 40 on this, so I'm going to ask 30 now. So that is really nice. It is quite heavy, so that would look great on a chain or a torque necklace. So there's that. And then I had this sterling ring. I was asking for 40. It is marked 925 in there and I did test it in the video and it was let's see so it's showing up as like a six and a half but because of the shape it's going to really alter the size on the mandrel but my finger this finger is about a seven and a half and it fits so I would say it's a seven and a half and I'm going to ask 30 on this one now as well Okay, really nice. Now, here are the pieces that I picked up at the, I mean, at the flea market. Um, you guys, if you don't know, I did start a collection of food dogs. 
Of course, I always like the things that are most expensive, which stinks because the, usually the genuine food dogs are very expensive. Anywho, let me turn on Pressy. So I saw these at a man's booth and I just had to have them. So I asked how much they were and I also had like a handful of other things that I wanted to purchase. So long story short, he gave me two items that I was holding for free and he gave me these for $60 for the pair. He said they were 80, but he did them for 60. Who knows if that was a lie or not, but whatever, you know, these uh, flea market people try to get you to buy it, so they'll say anything. <laughs> anyway, I didn't care because I really liked them. He said that they were sterling and jade. <laughs> I didn't really believe him. I didn't care. I liked them. They were for my own collection. So the sterling, I was like, all right, it kind of looks like it's sterling, but it kind of looks like it's like a pot metal. This did, does not look like jade necessarily, but it is very heavy. It is definitely some type of stone. So I tested the metal. It is not sterling and the stone did not come up as jade. So I would like to show you what it does come up as. Don't tell me this isn't gonna be working now, hold on. And maybe you guys can help me out cause it's, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a pink. See, there's some flash in there. I, I don't know, to me it looks more like a quartz, but you know, we'll see. And then look at this part. It's like almost clear. So I don't really know. Anyway, so let's test it and I'll show you guys So it, it barely comes out of the glass and it's on like garnet tourmaline eyelet or it's kind of on the chrysophrase emerald and nephrite. I guess it could be nephrite, right? Oops. I guess it could be nephrite because nephrite is a form of jade. So that would make more sense, but it's pink. Do Is there such thing as pink nephrite? I thought nephrite was strictly green. And the jadeite could be colors. So let me know your guys' opinion on that. And, um, you know, we can talk about it in the comments. But either way, I'm happy because I love these little guys. They're so cool and they're for my own collection. So, you know, I just didn't, I don't want him to go around like lying to people and being like, oh, this is jade and this is sterling just to like get people to buy it. But I hope he didn't think he got one over on me because <laughs> he didn't. Anywho, let's start with the jewelry boxes. Um, so here's the, let me pan out a little bit. Here's the first one. It is a little beat up. I know people collect jewelry boxes. So that's the only reason why I'm showing these. Um, you know, you guys can fast forward if you're not interested. But here's the first one. The inside is like a green crushed velvet. It does have a little bit of uh, staining in there. Um, but overall, it's pretty cool. It's got a couple scratches, but it definitely smells old. It's seven by five and a half by two. And we'll just do, uh, we'll do, we'll just do five bucks on this one. Okay, five bucks on that one. Now where am I gonna put all these for now? Okay, then we have this crushed velvet one. It's a blue crushed velvet, or blue velvet, I should say, or velour. It's in pretty good condition. And then you have all your little dividers. I can, you know, take tape and like kind of clean this out a little bit because there's a couple little Looks like cat hairs or something, but 
And there's the woo hi uh, mirror on the top. So this one is quite large. It's ten and a half by seven by one and a half. And um, these, it's, it's not going to be included in the $5 shipping. These are going to be based on the weight and your location. So this one we're going to do uh, 12 on. Okay. I only have a few more, so don't worry. I'm not going to be here forever. This one I thought was so cool. It's like a green. I don't know if it's real leather or not. It might be real It, I think it might be real. It has a key, but, oh, it does have the key. Awesome. Okay, hold on. Let me see if this actually locks. It does. It really locks. Ah, that's so cool. So you just have to push it in and spin it one whole circle and it will lock and unlock. Oh my God, that is so cool. Okay, I didn't even test that out. So inside is green velour or velvet and it has, oh, this one's so nice. It has the little ring holder here and this little pad here and then you have the underneath. Wow, this one's so cool, okay. And then you can close it and lock it if you want. So this one we're going to do 20 bucks. And I'll get you the measurements. It's six by four and a half by two and a half. 20 bucks. That one's cool. All right, then we have this one is the last of the actual boxes. And then we have a couple little bags let's see so made in Japan I don't think this is silver he I'm sure he would have took it the jeweler it's probably silver plate there's the inside it's like a oops it's like a blue velvet let me just test it really quick I don't think he would have let that go. I don't know, it is kind of turning up a little blue. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. So um, this one has a little sailboat on it. It's got some fishies around here. Really cool. The bottom just says made in Japan with that M. I think it would say sterling if it was sterling. I could be making a mistake, but you know, you guys can give me your opinions. It's definitely not magnetic, but you know what? Hmm. <laughs> I'm like questioning myself here because I don't want to give this away if it's worth like a, like three hundred dollars in silver. No, it's not. It's not going away, but it's also not turning blue. So this one we will do. Um, 25 on and it's four and a quarter by three and a half by two 25 bucks okay and then we just have these two little bags or pouches I don't know if anyone would be interested in these a little zippered pouch and then this is like a little coin purse pouch 
and we'll just do um, five and four. All right, so those are the boxes. Now I have the jewelry. So let's start with the jewelry. Well, not let's start, but let's continue with jewelry. And uh, remember, if you're interested in anything, email me at another chance resale one at gmail.com. Check that sold list pinned in the comments. And this is not, is this the, yeah, okay. And let's see how far we can get with this jewelry. All right, let's move it over. Uh oh, I see a lot of beads all over the place. Okay. What's this? Uh oh, what happened here? Oh, I think I know what this is. Okay. This is inside out, first of all. And then this support maybe goes through like this. I don't know what this is. I thought it was like a uh, like a lariat type of thing, but I don't know what's going on. So this is just gonna go into craft. It's got a little maker mark though. A little like, oh my gosh, a little like tulip thing. I don't know, let's just do $2 on it. It looks like it could be one of those lariats, but I'm not really sure. Looks like we have a bunch of brooches, so let's pull all these out. This one's missing the rollover part to close it. So this will just be in craft. This will be a dollar. That one's really nice, but it's broken. And this stuff can be, he said it's like vintage to modern. Like it was all her jewelry. So there's all kinds of stuff in here. All right, let me just, this is an earring. Let's let's do the bigger pieces first. Here's a snake, but it's missing a rhinestone. So this will go into crafting. Here's a brooch. Here's a bracelet. This is nice. So this is in good condition. It's seven or eight inch length. We'll do $6 on that. Here's an earring, that was an earring, that's an earring. Ooh, here's a clip, shoe clips. <clears throat> shoe clips or dress clips. It says, okay, patent and then a number. And there's no other markings. But there are missing stones, a lot of them. Wow, a lot. Eek. So yeah, all these are missing. 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 Yeah, this is, these are craft. One dollar. That's an earring. What's this? This is cool. Okay. It's got a little bit of wear to the stones, which makes me think they're not glass, right? They're, they are acrylic or something. This is really cool. I don't see any maker marks, but very unique. This bump is really gonna drive me crazy. It is seven inch length. 
I don't see anything. Oh yeah, I do see stuff missing. So the two stones or whatever they were here, pearls. But that goes on the inside of the wrist. So no, no one might see that. So let's do 12 on it. It's pretty cool. Here's a ring. Don't see any markings. It's quite large. It's an 11. So let's do $6. It's in very nice condition. The hell is this? That's very weird. Okay, so let's I'm going to put the brooches to the side too because maybe we can do like a little deal with them. Here is a blue rhinestone. They are not glass. A little bracelet. It looks like it's missing the safety chain. Does not have a maker mark, but it's pretty nice even without the safety chain. Seven inch length as well. That's really pretty. Let's do seven on it. There's this ring. Ooh, that has a lot of wear. It's adjustable, so it'll fit any size. With the blue, oh, it spins. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but <laughs> we'll just do four on that one. There's a button, we'll toss that. There's a brooch, we'll put that to the side. Oh look, here's another clip. Is there another one? No, there's just this lonely guy, but he's missing a lot as well. All these, these. So he's gonna go into craft also, patent pending. Yeah, craft. I know somebody will want them to repurpose. They're pretty cool. These are Sarah Coventry, right? Yeah. Sarah Cove clip-ons. They're in good shape. We'll do four on those. Here's an earring. Oh, I saw this one. So here's a clip-on. These might be glass. Yes, these are glass. So we can do four on those. This is a brooch. Here's the other earring. So let's look at the back, see if there's any maker marks. No, also check the other one because sometimes the makers will only put it on one earring. Oh, we're missing a stone. We're missing stones on each of these so they will go into craft. That's an ear wire and it looks like it might be silver. So we'll just hang on to that. Let's get rid of this. Oh, this is cute. This feels like um, like a ceramic. I don't really see anything broken. That's cute. I'm gonna do five on that. Well, that's a brooch. Um, all right, whatever, $5. I was gonna save them all and do them all together, but I guess I forgot. This necklace has definitely got a lot of wear on it. <sighs> yeah. Look at that. And on the edges, I don't know if you can see that. This is not in good shape. So that'll be in craft. Oh, these are cool. These are little sweater clips. It says patent and the number on the back. You can also use these to hold your kimono or open cardigan closed. I do that. Really nice way to incorporate something uh, vintage into your wardrobe. These are not glass. 
So we'll just do five on these, or this, I should say. Yeah, right, this says 14K. I highly doubt they would have missed this. Yeah, it is so magnetic. But let's just, for hoot's sake, give it a test with 14K solution. Oops. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with this 14K. I just dripped it and I didn't even do anything. Yeah, it ate the line immediately, so this is a faker. Oops, I dropped something. What was that? What was that? I don't know. Oh, my black light, uh, my black light flashlight. All right, I'll get it. So it's still pretty and it's still in good condition. A twisted little rope chain bracelet. It's seven and a half inches. So we'll do seven on it. <clears throat> so here, I don't know that symbol. But here are a pair of clips. They are not glass. They are in really good condition. So we will do eight on the pair. Let's see something. Okay, let's test these for glass. They are glass, black glass, very long uh, necklace, but it does, I was gonna say infinity, but it does have a clasp. So you can probably triple this. And let's get a measurement. 28 inch wearable length. So let's do $8. It's an earring. Ooh, this looks cool. Okay, I don't see anything missing except for the bail. <laughs> so this was a pendant, the bail is missing, but it would be very cool if somebody could make this into a brooch. Are you sterling? Quite possibly. Let's see. Tis not. Probably just like a pot metal. So I'll just do um, $3 on it because it is very pretty. And hopefully somebody can make this into a brooch or something or back into a pendant. Uh, this is just plastic or acrylic. So there's that. Here's a necklace. Looks like just a fashion necklace with this nice tassel. It's in good shape. It does have an extender to make it longer. But right now it's sitting at 18 inches wearable. We'll just do five on that. Okay, here are some screw backs. What does that say? Let me get my loop. Where's my loop? Oh, it does say sterling, okay. So, and let's see what these come up as. Jade, ba 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 ba, jade. And sterling screwbacks. We'll test these out really quick. Oh, it just came apart. Hold on. I'm sure that's an easy fix. Or did I break it? Nope, it's fine. 
and you just need a little plier action and we're good to go. So sterling and jade screw back earrings. There is definitely some tarnish, but they're really cool. So let's do 15 on those. Here are these earrings. Are these sterling too? These, yep, these are marked 925. Yep, on the ear wire. Let's see, are these amethyst? Nope, they're just glass. Wait. Yeah, just glass. Um, so let's do 12 on these. And then I have this pendant sitting here. Ooh, that's pretty. It's purple. It says 18 karat gold plated, okay. So 18 karat white gold plated. Let's see if these glass. Yeah, these are glass. So that's a really pretty pendant. So let's do, um, we'll do 15 on that. And then let's see, we have these clip-on earrings. Um, gold plating, I can't bring anything gold plated to my jeweler. They don't take anything gold plated um, or gold filled. So uh, this could be why this jeweler left those as well. Um, yeah, anything gold filled or gold plated, my jeweler says no. So, cause they actually melt everything down right there. They have their own melter. So they are, they skip out the middleman, but it's just, I guess that metal is not worth it. I don't know. Anywho, these vintage clip-on earrings will be $5. Okay, so let's look over these brooches. <clears throat> this one is okay. It's just a little worn. Mm, it's got some weirdness with the pearl. So we'll just do $2 on that guy. This guy is good. We will do four on him. That guy's good, he's got a little bit of wear. We'll just do three on him. This bird, oh, he's missing an eye. And some stones here, so he's craft. And this guy's missing a stone. I uh, craft. Okay, let's keep going. Um, so we'll do um, brooches. We'll do buy three, get one free. Every third, you'll get one free. Oh, this is cute. This is, it says 2005 AD. It's an enamel and rhinestone bow pendant. So we'll do six on that, that's really pretty. What does that say? Sandor, so that's Sandor. We'll do, and eh, we'll just do five on that. Here's some clip-ons. It's in like a double leaf. Four. Here is another brooch. We'll do the same deal for earrings. Buy three, get one free. So here's a really pretty brooch. It's got a little bit of wear. So we'll just do four on that one. Here's a little maybe scarf clip, four bucks. So there's an earring. Sarah Coventry, four dollars. There's an earring, that's an earring. This is, looks like a bracelet. This is Sarah Coventry as well. It's okay, it's okay. It's got some wear in where the links meet right here. 
But other than that, she looks okay. Seven inch length. We'll just do five on that one. That's an earring. Here's a brooch. Four dollars. This one, does this say something? It says Japan. So it looks like a Siam, but I don't know if that really is or not. Okay, it's not sterling. So let's do 12 on this one. That's pretty cool. Um, so ones that are a little bit more expensive, like this one, will not be the free one. You'd have to purchase this as the buy three, and then you'd get one free that's, you know, three, three, four, or five dollar one, if that makes sense. Here's another Sarah Coventry. We'll do five on that one. Here's some earrings. No maker, four dollars. There's a clip-on, here's a clip-on pair. No makers, but those are pretty, $4. There's an earring, here's a brooch. I'll do five on that one. Here's an earring, here's a brooch. Cute, four bucks. This one says Austria, okay. Oh my gosh, how cute. So this is probably Austrian crystal. Let's see if it comes up as glass. Yep. So that's really cute. Uh, let's do eight on this one. That's cool. Okay, here's a match right here. These say Dalsheim, Dalsheim. I don't know what that is, but we'll do five on those. This is not in good condition. It's peeling, so that will go into craft. Here's this mate. Um... We'll just do two dollars on those. Here's a brooch. It's like a uh, little ornaments in the shape of a tree. We'll do four on that one. Here's a bracelet. It says in hoc signo vinges. That's kind of cool. Let's get a measure. -y. Seven inch wearable, seven dollars. Here's a little brooch missing the center stone, so that'll be craft. Okay, this doesn't say anything on it. The pieces themselves are in good condition. The chain, mm, it's got some wear, but overall it's okay. Let's get a total length for you. It's a total length of 15 and a half inches. We'll just do five on it since it's got some wear. Here's this mate. We'll just do four on those. This brooch is missing a lot. So we're gonna skip on that. This is the other earring to here. So this is a Sarah Coventry. Oh, it goes with this brooch. Boom. So here's the matching clip-on earrings for $5. Ooh, we got these. These are cool copper clip-ons. An enamel, $5. Let's 
Oh, here's the mate right here for these. These look like little sailboats, but I don't know if they're supposed to be that way. Um, Four dollars. This is not really in the best of conditions, so we're going to skip on that one. Hmm, this is kind of cool. So this one's nice. However, you can see the glue is starting to... Oh, wait, are we missing things? We're missing things. So missing here, missing here. So that's going to be craft. These kind of look like a thermoset type of thing. Right? It's pretty. It's short. Uh, 14, it's a 15 inch total length. So we'll just do four on that. This little brooch, this is marked. Oh, this is Kramer. Okay, Kramer of New York. It's right there. So let's do um, seven on this one. We have a lonely earring and then we have this mate right here. These are cool clip-ons. Don't see a maker. They are a little worn, so we'll just... Oh, and it's missing a panel right there, so that's craft. Okay, and this one, I guess, is craft because there's no mate to it. So let's keep going. I'll only go for a little while longer because um, I don't want to really go over an hour. Uh because then I start getting a little, a little tired. So let's do a little bit more. Okay, we have a really nice hematite fish necklace. Uh-oh, it's broken. I mean, I'm sure you can still use it. Bummer. I don't know. I'm just gonna sell this for $4 for the components. Here is a brooch. It looks more like a shield of armor. $5. <laughs> okay, so let's see what this ring is. It's definitely got some wear. I don't think it's gold. It's got the copper coming through. Let's see if... It's glass. This is just gonna go in craft. I don't know if you can see it. It's really worn. So let's look at this. Ugh. This is cool, but it's missing a pearl and the other ones are all jacked up. So that's not salvageable. lace glass but it's missing pearls and this is missing a jump ring so that's craft as well all these little baggies here are little maybe dogwood flower studs these are cute four dollars okay a single Clip on earring will go into craft. We have all these little baggies, so let's open up some of these. Okay, this is really pretty. It's rosaries. It's definitely got a lot of wear. Let's see if these are anything. I think they're just glass. I mean, I, I don't know if it's verdigris or what, but there's something on here that's not really okay. So we are gonna put this into craft, unfortunately. Maybe someone can still use the beads on it, but the metal is not okay. 
Here's another rosary. This one just feels like plastic, but it's in better condition. So we will do five on this one. Okay, so here are a bunch of pearl earrings. These say silver on them, so let's look at these first. These are screwbacks. These are pretty cool. They do appear to be real, and I would bet these definitely are silver. So we will do um, 12 on these. Okay, that one is chipped off, so that will go into craft. These They don't, yep, they do appear to be real. I just want to see if they say anything on the posts. Uh, I do not see anything on the posts. So, um, I don't know, five bucks? These are just silver tone screw backs. Uh, we'll do four on those. All right, I'm not going to go through all of these. Um, I'll just do $10 on the whole bag. And if they have, you know, gold posts, then good for you. If not, then I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not, I don't want to waste too much time going through every little pearl earring. Okay, this is very discolored. So we're gonna put that into craft. This is just a single earring. Ooh, that's a, a native earring. You know what, let's just hold on to that. Maybe the pair, the mate will come up somewhere. These, okay, this is just a random earring and so is this, but these definitely are glass. So those will be in crafting for a dollar a piece. This kind of looks like a cool bag, a cool uh, little set of stuff here. Okay, so we have a single earring there and then we have these mates. These are screw backs. There's no maker. So we'll just do four on those. This one will go into craft. I, okay. Um, yeah, we're missing a lot of stones on these. On this, I should say. So that's going to go into craft. Ooh, these are pretty. Little chandelier dangle earrings. These do look like they could be silver. I think I need a bigger scratch. Mm, oops. Yes, I do believe they are silver. So those are pretty. Screw back, sterling silver. Let's do 15 on these. Very nice. I guess maybe he didn't take those because they weren't marked. 
Okay, these are missing. Jeez. Oh, yeah, this is missing a lot. The glue is very messy. So we're going to put these into craft. They're all chipped up. All right, so we have a brooch, brooch, brooch. Um, two bucks a piece. I think we're just gonna finish off this bag and call it a day for today. This is kind of cool. It's um, got a lot of wear though. I, it's not adjustable. It is an eight. Oh, it is it. Is it adjustable? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll just do four on it because it's got some wear. This says union. I don't know what that means. Uh oh, is it broken? I don't know what that is. So that'll just go into craft. Ooh, do we have scrimshaw? This looks old. Yeah, that's carved in there. It says W Wallach. Let's check that out really quick. W Wallach. Wallach. Necklace. Let's just do Wallach. No, still nothing. Okay, that's fine. I still think this is pretty cool. It's a little like canoe canoeing guy. Um, I don't know what this is made out of. Probably just um, some type of rope. So uh, let's see. Let's give a measurement on the drop is eight and a half. So let's do ten on it. I don't know if this is true scrimshaw, but. Um, Yeah, we'll just do 10, that's fine. All right, this I can see right through the bag that it's missing stuff, so we are going to put that into craft. At least we're getting some sterling out of this. <laughs> oh, this is just one earring. Okay, I see a lot of single earrings here. So, ay, ay, ay. I, that's missing stuff anyway. That's a Damascene, so let's hold off on that. This stuff will be um, craft. I mean, these single earrings, that looks like it might be native too. Yeah, it says sterling, and that's probably green onyx. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's put that to the side because that's really cool. This is probably sterling. What does that say? Yeah, it's... Oh, it's Siam sterling. Okay, yeah. It's a single, though. Maybe someone can make this into a brooch. That I'm still going to do... Um, we'll do $8 on this one. That's really cool, even for the sterling. Um, the other native... I'm trying to find somewhere to put all these little baggies so they're not all over my desk. Uh, let's see, where am I gonna put them? Put them in this bag. I guess we'll do eight each on these native pieces. This is sterling and turquoise. So eight dollars each on those. And then if we find the mate, we'll just have to change that, but I doubt it. 
So this is a Trifari. It is just regular Trifari. Oh, we're already missing a stone. One stone missing and one chip on the pearl. So I don't know if anyone would still be interested in that, but it's a 17 inch total length and I'll just do five on it if anyone's still interested, even though it's missing a stone. This is just a 50 year pin, I don't know, dollar. This brooch pin is broken. There is no pin, but that's really pretty and it has all the stones, bummer. We'll do three on that just for the components. These look nice. I don't think these are sterling. All the stones are there, so we'll just do four on those. Not gold, check stone. Okay, well this is just a single earring, so we're just not even gonna bother. I don't know what that is, EMC jewelry. If you wanna come out. Yeah, but this is missing whatever was in the center. Ay, ay, ay. If it was gold, they would have took it. So we're just going to scrap all that into um, crafting. Ooh, this is cool. Doesn't have anything on the back, but this could be Bakelite. So let's give it a little testy poo. I don't have any Q-tips with me, but I do have a little piece of cotton here. So if the cotton pad turns yellow, it is Bakelite. It is, yay! So as you guys know, I collect Bakelite, so this is staying in my collection. Sorry, but that's mine. Okay, let's move on. I'm surprised, oh, I guess a jeweler can't really do anything with Bakelite, huh? So this is another one of those uh, wire brooches. I think I said three on the other one, so three on that one. Ooh, what is all this? This looks kind of cool. All right, this one is a brooch. Seems like it has everything there. C clasp. I don't think it would be sterling. It looks more like a pot metal, but we can check it quickly. Ooh, that made a weird sound. No, definitely not sterling. So this one, um, we'll do five on. It's got some damage underneath that stone. Not glass. This one though is cool. It's missing <laughs> almost every stone. This does not look like silver either, but let's just take a quick check. No. Okay. Um, and then this stone is not glass either. Actually, yes, it is. It is. Um, but it's just going to go into craft for a dollar. That's a pretty cool piece, though. Too bad it's so damaged. Ooh, these are cool. They're like little birds or chickens or something. 
screw backs. They are really bent up. I don't know if this would be um, Bakelite either. It could be. Let's see. Um, I don't think so. Let me just try again. No. Nope. Okay, so these will just be, um, I'll do $2 on them. The I don't think the screw backs can really be bent back, but the piece themselves are pretty cool for crafters. So that's that. A couple more pieces. So um, make sure you guys email me if you're interested in anything and uh, make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. Click that thumbs up for me if you like videos like this. Oh geez, so this is broken. Don't know what those cabochons are, but these are craft. I don't know what these are. And so those are craft. And then the last piece is this, so filigree. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Okay, very pretty. Looking to see if it says anything anywhere. It looks like there's been a repair. Somebody tied that right there. I do not see any Wow, look at this. This just came apart. I can fix that. Just connect the jump ring back together. Oh my gosh, this is cool. So do we think these are sterling? They are, they are indeed sterling. Very cool, very cool. Now, I wanna show you guys something even cooler. Look at the clasp. And then you, I don't know if I can get it. Eh, I'm gonna miss. But you put it through there and you slide it down through the whole thing. There we go. How cool. This one is a little bit bent on some parts, but it is very beautiful. Um, this one, I will reattach the jump ring and it has the same type of clasp with the pin. Wow, these are cool. Okay, so let me get a measurement. The flower one is seven and a quarter and the butterfly is seven. So we are going to do um, $25 a piece on these. These are, I mean, I probably should be asking more, but these are really cool. Definitely a cool piece for a jewelry collection. And what a, what great pieces to end the first video in the series. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click the thumbs up and subscribe and the bell to all so you're notified when the rest of these videos in the series come out. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.